Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. It is Wednesday. Today is uh, December the 28th, 2016. Today was half off day at the Salvation Army, and I've got some really great finds I will share with you guys tonight on a haul video. But first, I uh, just wanted to do a quick little update on some of the items we've sold in the last three or four days. Um, just some items you've seen in my haul videos that I purchased and that they actually sold on eBay. So I'm going to switch over to my computer screen here and show you guys some of those items, what I paid for them, and what they sold for and just some items that you can keep an eye out for and you'll have a good idea of what to pay for them and what they should sell for now this is just general pricing idea of course make model color condition all that stuff will affect what you actually sell it for but you'll have a good idea so let's switch over screens and take a look at what's sold okay so we are on my main screen here as you can see my internet window and i've got the first item already open for you guys it's the genesis black bicycle seat uh, it was an adjustable one i paid two dollars for it half off day at the salvation army you guys saw that a few weeks ago um and it sold we took a best offer or no we got full price on this we priced it at 32 half off and sold for 16. um it did come in in a box at right at 15 ounces so it cost three and a half bucks to ship couple dollars in fees we were out about six we netted ten and we were out two dollars cost so eight dollars profit call it seven dollar profit on a two dollar purchase bicycle seats are good this wasn't a great one but it did okay all right let's move on so santa claus tie we sold it for full price seven dollars check it out holiday season santa claus and the elves in the toy shop seven bucks on a tie that i paid ten cents for pretty good all right let's keep moving here are the video games I told you guys about. We got a best offer of 27 on this one. It's uh, listed at 29, sold for 27, and I paid $3 for it. Star Wars Battlefront 2, a video game for PS2 you should be on the lookout for. Very popular video game. The next one was the one I paid 15 for, Legend of Zelda, The Skyward Sword. Uh, $67, we actually put it half off down to um, $33.50, and I believe it sold for $32. Net of $25, we made about $10 bucks profit on that one. Sold very, very quickly. Trivial Pursuit Cards and Pieces. Got it out of a game that I paid a dollar for, and uh, sold for $14 the pieces. Um, they were heavy, they did ship uh, priority, but we were able to net right around $7 on this six or seven and we paid a buck for it so game pieces always a little filler all right here's a fluke 179 digital multimeter i picked up at a pawn shop for fifty dollars it sold for 125 i took a best offer 125 after fees and shipping we netted around 105 to 110 and i had a fifty dollar cost in it fluke is a brand a bolo brand that you should be on the lookout for at pawn shops yard sales thrift stores anywhere you see it fluke f l u k e any number one they sell anywhere from 50 on up to 250 300 dollars look up the model number the fluke it should be 179 or 122 you'll see what i'm talking about victoria's secret we sold the little dog for 12 dollars. paid about 50 cents at the bin for it little doggy another plush we sell thousands of dollars a year in plushes here's another one disney's toy story woody $18. He was a little small Woody doll, but we paid 50 cents for him and we got 18 out of him. Here are the two Tommy Bahama shirts that we sold. Uh, we got 15. We put them at half off. We got 15 and uh, 16, so we got 31. And we paid 5 bucks for the pair of them. Two fifty dollars each on half off day Salvation Army. And they sold for $31 combined, somewhere around a $22 to $24 net. And we had 5 bucks in them. So Tommy Bahama, not as good as they used to be, but still selling fairly consistently to make $6 per item. There's the Harley Davidson shirt. We took a best offer of $25 on it, paid five. So after fees and shipping, we're left with about 18 and that was a $13 profit. This all adds up, guys. This Harley shirt I thought was going to go for more. Here's the Kyla SEO white tunic top. The ones that I picked up the other day for three or four dollars a piece. This one we took a best offer of $22 or $24 and we paid four bucks for it. So these boho tops are super nice. It was embroidered v-neck with ties. You guys can see all that embroidery. We got a few more. We got some offers. So we're going to sell a couple more. We'll be break even on all those shirts by the weekend and then everything else will be profit. 
All right, I'm going to show you guys one more item that sold in the last few days. These were those Ed Hardy shorts I picked up for $2.50. Sold full price, $15. Net in pocket of $10, $7.50 profit. They sold within a couple days. So Ed Hardy still does sell a little bit, especially with cool graphics like this. I picked up two Ed Hardy items today. A shirt, a girl's tank top v-neck type shirt, and a girl's pair of jean shorts. Both Ed Hardy. I paid like $2 and $2.50. So $4.50, and hopefully I'll sell those for about $25 to $30 combined. So all this stuff adds up, guys. Don't turn it away just because it's an older brand or an out-of-date style. People still buy this stuff at Hardee's and Tommy Bahamas. It still sells well. So that's a few of the items I sold in the last few days. I hope that gives you guys some uh, bolo items to be on the lookouts for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all my latest videos. You can also check out my social media down in the description box below, along with my direct email that comes right here to the iPhone. I respond to them as quickly as possible. And uh, we'll have another video out for you guys tonight with the Hall Salvation Army 50% off. So make sure you guys check that out and I will be back with you later. I got to run out and make some stops for some errands and uh, I'll get that video up as early as possible, but it is going to be late for the Hall video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.